What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're building a budget AI rental rig with old hardware we have sitting around. Let's run through the parts, go through the cost, and then let's get building. As many of you know, I was very big into GPU mining several years ago, and I've got a bunch of hardware sitting around that I was gonna jump into some projects with, I was gonna get into crypto mining with, but never ended up pulling the trigger. And that's these two desktop computers that you see here. We're only gonna be building one today, but I wanted to show you kind of a comparison of before and after. Now, I would highly encourage you guys to go ahead and see if you can put together a rig with the hardware you have without going out and spending any buku bucks. The goal of this is to build a budget rig and kind of test the waters. So let's take a closer look. Real talk. How many of us have more than one credit card and still miss out on points, perks, or cash back? Yeah, guilty right here. But that's where MaxRewards.com completely changes the game. Max Rewards isn't just a tracker. It's like your credit card's personal assistant. It tells you exactly which card to use for maximum rewards at every store you walk into. Starbucks, gas stations, online shopping, boom, maximized. You link your cards and the app syncs balances, tracks rewards, and shows hidden benefits most of us never even use, like extended warranties, or travel credits, and even reminds you when your bonus categories change. No more leaving money on the table. If you're serious about getting the most from your cards, whether you're stacking points for a trip or just want that sweet cash back, Max Rewards makes it effortless. Try it free with sign up code HOBBYIST by following the link in the video description or scan this QR code and start using your cards like a pro. This segment is sponsored by MaxRewards.com. Please do your own research and make smart financial decisions. All right, so these units here, these PCs that you see here, I bought well over a year and a half ago. These are Dell Precision Towers, and these are actually 5810s. They're pretty much workstation PCs, but they're a little bit beefier than you would traditionally get. And you can see all the plastic from Dell is still in this one. I've done nothing to this. This guy, on the other hand, I've gutted a lot and swapped out some of the parts, and we'll go through that in just a minute. So traditionally, this comes with one server-style processor. It's an uh, Intel Xeon processor. That's traditionally about a 10-core processor. Uh, and it comes with, look at these, these little old, like, NVIDIA NVS 510s that you guys see here. Look at these dull ones in here. Uh, it comes, you know, traditionally, I think this one actually has a solid state in here. That's kind of nice. And they probably didn't come with solid states then. Uh, power supply, uh, CD-ROM drive, <laughs> but a lot of plastic in this. So I haven't touched this rig at all, but this one here I actually worked on in the past. And so what I did with this rig, and I'll go through it, and then we'll go through all of our pricing here as well, is we did replace the processor. We actually originally started out with a 10 core processor. And in the past, I did upgrade it to a 14 core processor. So it does already have a 14 core processor in here. I think it's like an E5 2697 V3. <laughs> Wait till you find out the price of this. It's really, really funny. Now, something I did, which I think is gonna actually do well for me in an AI rig is, you can see we have a lot of memory in this. And traditionally, it actually only comes with about 16 gigabytes of memory. And I did buy a pack of 128 gigabytes of memory, probably far overkill for what we're looking to do with this today on a budget AI rig rental. Probably 64 is probably fine. But as I said, I bought this in the past as a project and never really got it off the ground. Now, we removed a whole bunch of plastic in here, um, and I did get these cables from the Veteran Miner to make it a little bit easier to interface in with, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, with modern day graphics cards. And so that's what we see here. So we're gonna be building this guy today, uh, and we're gonna be using some of these parts. Now, I did buy three things, and we're gonna go through that in a minute here. But let's go through cost. Let's break down cost here, uh, and I'm gonna define this as budget. Now, 
a lot of this stuff I looked up on eBay um, because that's uh, that's kind of where I would go if I needed to go ahead and buy anything or Facebook Marketplace uh, is a really good option as well, maybe offers up. Um, but try to build a budget rig with the hardware you have, especially if you're gonna test the waters with an AI rig rental. Now, I wanna preface this. I am not expecting to get rich. I'm not expecting to make a whole bunch of money. I'm just testing the waters with this rig, and I highly recommend that for you as well as just kind of just dabbling into this. So the Dell Precision units that you see here, uh, I was able to find them on eBay today for about, um, let's see, 129, I had to look behind me, $129. So that got you this right here, uh, motherboard, uh, CPU. Now. You didn't have to, you don't have to, or I didn't have to go the extra mile to get the additional processor, but let's say you were looking at this, wanna get some honest, accurate numbers, that processor is $9. <laughs> it's like nothing. Now, the memory is a big one. The memory, 128 gigabytes of this memory goes for $150. Now on top of that, what else do we have here? Well, I did pick up these guys. So I did get a two terabyte NVMe um, and this was about $100. And then when we look over here, uh, we do, this is a NVMe enclosure uh, because this does not support NVMe, it's too old, uh, but I wanted the faster speed. So this is an NVMe enclosure that we're gonna put into an X16 slot. And then finally, why do I have a NIC here? Well, this NIC supports five gig. And I did that because of the fact that I just recently upgraded in my house to five gig. Not that um, my internal network infrastructure will support it, but I thought I at least would future-proof myself by installing this in here. So this was $100, this was 16, no, no, this was 9.99 and this was, oh no, 16.99 and $32, I think. Yes, that's correct here. So everything that you see that we did get through here came in about $430. That's before a graphics card. So I'm trying to keep this as minimal as possible using the hardware I have here. Finally, let's talk graphics cards. So I still have two RTX 3070s left that I never ended up selling. I thought I'd use them for a gaming rig for my kids or something like that. But I thought this would be perfect for today. And is this amazing on AI rig rentals? No, absolutely not. But why am I choosing this? Because I feel like the 3070 is a norm or a standard that a lot of community members of mine would have already. Not a 5090, not a 4090. You know, this is something that I think a lot of people still have 3070s sitting around. Now, this is a bottleneck for me. You know, we have a, a, an okay, beefier CPU. We got a boatload of memory. We got some fast uh, disk speeds here. We have fast internet. You know, this is gonna end up internally in about one by one, um, but that's really, really nice. One up, one down, it'll fully utilize that. So this is definitely going to be a bottleneck, but I'm okay with that because this is supposed to be a budget rig. If I was chasing big bucks, I'd go with like 4090s or 5090s, but that's insane how expensive those are. So for today, we're gonna test out this 3070. So that's kind of my game plan. All said and done, 3070 goes for about $200 now. So let's say roughly we're about $650 total. All said and done with what we have here. Uh, as I only went and bought these three items recently, everything else we had. So let me go ahead and get this all built and into Windows. This, this is gonna run off of Windows and we're gonna be setting this up on Salad. Now, Salad has a variety of different things that can make us money. And we're gonna talk about that in a few minutes. All right, it has been a few hours, but we do have Windows 11 installed and Salad is ready and available. We're gonna jump into that more in just a minute when I jump over to the computer, but let's talk. So, those of you guys that are Home tinkerers, you've built plenty of PCs, you always know that there's always problems, right? Am I right? <laughs> so, as you guys can see here, we are not running one of our 3070s. This is actually a 3080. And we're like, oh, why? What happened? Well, here is two 3070s. Here's the Gigabyte 
and this is a Galax 3070, and neither of them would actually show any video. I don't know what's going on. I, I have had these GPUs for a while in my closet. I don't know if they're bad, and I just totally forgot. So I do apologize to you guys. Um, as viewers, I did go ahead and take a look. The 3080 Founders Edition goes for about $100 more. So that's gonna bump our whole build here to $750 versus $650. Now, I looked at like other GPUs I have, like this is a 1660 Ti, but it's only six gigabytes. And we were going with eight, the 3080 is 10. I did even look at some old GPUs I have up here. I was like, oh, could I use that? But like, this is an RTX 4070, four gigabyte. This is an, um, an RX 580, eight gigabyte, but it's AMD. Or I even have a Radeon 7, which would be great when it comes down to the VRAM side, but I wasn't too sure if Sal would support it. If you guys know, please let me know. But anyways, we did end, up, did end up going the route of the 3080. Was not my original intent, but here we are. Now I was able to go ahead and fit in. I actually was able to put the 3080 down in the second X16 slot. I was able to fit in here our five gig NIC and this is actually that enclosure there for the MVME that does fit into that X16 PCI slot that you can see. So everything worked out pretty dang good. The fans on this uh, case, I actually go into the BIOS with Dell and you can adjust them. So I set them at 50%. I would rather have them constantly running, but that's a quick update. Let's jump over to the computer. All right, so I've jumped over to my computer and we're using uh, Google Remote Desktop to remote into this PC and wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick kind of tour, show you guys what's going on here. So we do have storage 1.86 terabytes available, uh, 114 gigabytes is only used right now after Windows 11 is installed and we have the latest updates as well as our NVIDIA drivers. You can see here's our graphics card, our RTX 3080, 10 gigabyte. And here's that memory, 128 gigabytes of memory and the Xeon processor E52697. Now taking a look here, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty beefy setup. This CPU, as we talked about, 14 core, 28 logical processors and virtualization is working, uh, which is fantastic. Taking a look at our disk, you can see our disk here is showing as the SSD and VME that we did install there. Now for our ethernet here, uh, this is coming in. Uh, we're at one one right now to give you guys an idea. I did do a speed test. I'm not going to show it because of just, it shows your IP address and such and location, but we were about nine 30 up and about, uh, nine 20, nine 15, uh, down, uh, in that regard. So, uh, we're doing pretty dang good. And something I have learned along the way is with these AI rig platforms, man, bandwidth is so important. So, so important, especially when it comes down to the jobs that you do get, uh, as well as that disk read speed. Everybody kind of goes naturally to the GPU, but the disk and also those ethernet speeds are very, very critical, something to keep in mind. So I did go ahead and install Salad. It's already on this computer. Uh, I haven't actually like run it or anything yet. Uh, we do have a balance on our Salad account of $131. And I'm going to run through real quick here on some of the settings that I have in place. So bandwidth sharing is not something I have tested Salad with in the past. I always turned it off because they didn't have the internet speeds to support it. Now that we're at 5.5 fiber, absolutely going to keep that on. Uh, taking a look at configuring hardware, we do have CPU and GPU. We're going to make sure we utilize both of those. I did up the storage space to 500, uh, 500 gigabytes. So hopefully that does give us some of these bigger jobs that are available. Uh, we do also elevate permissions. I am letting Salad decide on what workloads it wants to um, put my machine to work with. You can configure it manually, but I wanna let Salad do, do the work. Now, under advanced settings, I did come in here and disable auto stop. Um, I don't want it ever to stop. Um, and so I did, I was reading through this. By default, it's enabled, but if you enable it, by default, if Salad begins chopping when your PC is idle, it will stop chopping once it's no longer idle. I don't want that. I don't want to remote in and it stops or interrupts anything. Now here's a big one. And I'd love your input as community members. I don't know if I want to keep crypto mining on, not necessarily from the fact of like, oh, I'm concerned about the rig and like the power. I mean, I guess you could be concerned about the power consumption, 
um, especially when it's full D TDP for some of these cards. But you know, if you look here, by default, salad runs proof of work workloads if there are no other more profitable workloads available for your machine. So like to me, everything should be more profitable than crypto mining right now. Be aware that depending on the network's demand for your PC's hardware configuration, disabling this could leave you without any workload for prolonged periods of time. I'm gonna leave this on for right now, but would love to hear from you guys on your perspective. Do you find this is, you know, um, more of a challenge, more of a problematic for if you're looking to get more of these other workloads or does it truly stop doing that uh, as time goes on? So other than that, wanted to show you over on Salad site, it's very easy to download and get started. I actually have a full video and a tutorial on how to set up Salad. So I'm gonna leave that in the upper right hand corner as well as a link directly down below that will walk you through the setup guide. It's very simple, but I do have a hand holding guide. I will put it out there. Not, not in this video today. This video is already long enough. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and uh, come in here, show Salad, and we're gonna change this over to Chop now. Now, one thing here you can see, we're at four out of five for our chopping power, they call it. Uh, if you do click on that, we have all the, this kind of auto set up on its own, which is really, really nice, um, especially for the container environment. It did install that on its own, but you have to have 50 hours a week achieved to go ahead and reach this kind of five status. And the nice thing is, is if you take a look at this, you actually have, uh, if you take a look here, once you reach this benchmark, a week will uh, receive priority for high paying jobs. Uh, if you go ahead and qualify your chefs who chop for 3000 minutes or 50 hours. So that's kind of how you unlock that last part of everything there. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, let this run. Yep, there we go. All right, so our budget rig got a little bit more expensive than what I wanted with that 3080 rig, but we are up and utilizing salad as you guys can see here. Now, kind of what my goal is, is you know, this hardware has just been sitting in my closet and collecting dust. So either I have to choose what to do with it. Do I sell it or do I put it to work on something like salad or another platform? So we're gonna put it to work. I'm gonna keep you guys updated as time goes on, especially on my live streams on how this goes. Listen, I got one more video for you. I'd love for you guys to check out. So I actually sat down with another content creator and individual who is well-established within the AI rig rental service, uh, and that is Max Voltage. And him and I had a great 30-minute conversation on everything AI rig rentals regarding you know, platforms to use, hardware to use, do's and don'ts, what trends he's seeing. And I'm gonna leave a link to that directly down below right here. Go over and check that out. All right, guys, love to get your thoughts and feedback on Salad, how it's going, what hardware you have on it, how important is hard drive space and speed? How important have you guys found is bandwidth speed? Um, love to get your thoughts and feedback. Other than that, guys, I will keep you updated and I'll see you guys next time.